Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rachel. If you are not new here, thank you so much for coming back and clicking on this video. I have a fun thing happening here today. We have a new dollhouse for our dollhouse, which is a vintage and antique and all kinds of doll type doll shop here in Denver, Colorado. And I have one of my very dear friends, Stan Gregg, who is an incredible artist in his, he makes amazing dollhouses and he is coming today to help me decorate this dollhouse so I am so excited he's gonna be here in a minute so stick around and you are going to enjoy seeing this dollhouse and all of the wonderful things that he is going to put inside this is going to be a piece for our permanent collection here at the doll shop and I cannot wait to just have this amazing house for display and and for you to see and to just enjoy so thank you so much for tuning in and we hope you enjoy this video I am here with a very special person, and his name is Stan Gregg. Hi, Stan. Hi, everyone. How, How are, are you? you? We're, we're really good. I'm good. <laughs> we are. are you glad to be here? I am glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Good to get out of the house a little bit. Yes, and yes. So you are our doll, you are my dollhouse consultant expert <laughs> extraordinaire, and I am thrilled that you are here because you're going to show me what to do to decorate this okay. house. But for our viewers that maybe haven't met you, but you've been in our virtual conventions before. And, yes. we, and you recently created a, your first teddy bear. Sorry, we're live here, guys. I'm gonna shut this off. You recently created your first teddy bear that yes. we absolutely love. <laughs> that was you were very multi-talented. Uh... Yes. But uh, what do you do, Stan? Um, well, tech, um, I have two jobs, technically. Um, I, I am a host home provider, which I take care of two um, developmentally disabled gentlemen that live with me. And I also create miniature houses, so. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, two very important jobs. I love what you do. Your houses, I met you at the Denver Museum of Miniature Show years ago. Yes. And we hit it off, and I was so enamored with your work. Oh, it thank is you. absolutely amazing. Stan has a wonderful blog, which we will show you. Uh, Stan, you came here, thank you so much, oh, yeah. to help me decorate this house. <laughs> so this house, everybody, is by an artist named Eric Lansdowne. Lansdowne, Lansdowne, I think it's Lansdowne. And he lives in France right now, but he uh, used to work out of San Francisco. Now, Greg, what is it like for you to also look at other other because you make houses and now you're looking at this somebody else's This inspires me to, to want to build one just like it. Perfect. Yes. Good. Yes. What do you like about it? I love the architecture. I love that it reminds you that you, it brings you to a foreign country. Um, a house of, of being able to live in it, even though you probably could never afford a real size house like this. Chate I would call it a chateau. Yeah, that's what we've been calling it is a chateau. Now I'm going to pull back so you guys can see how big it is with Stan standing next to it. I, I bought this. Yeah, that's so great. I bought this because every great doll shop needs a great doll it's house. It's almost six foot tall. Yeah. So you don't make them in this size. No, um, um, but I actually do want to now after seeing <laughs> Good, this. Good, perfect. Because this, he, the, the, the artist himself did such wonderful work from hand painting the floors to the walls to the windows to give it a rustic French country look. When I saw this at first in the photos, I did. I didn't. I thought it was old, and he did an incredible job just doing that. So, as an artist, for you, you can look at it and and get inspired by ideas. So, I am oh, just yes. so glad. And it would inspire me to create it, but create it not out of wood, but out of my paper and cardboard that I do, to where it's lightweight and portable and easy to move it anywhere. Your, so. your signature. It's your signature way. You figured yes. that out, yes. Stan. You have not been creating dollhouses for that long. You're kind no, of new to this. Uh, still about seven, eight years now um, in, into it. So because um, nobody does um, 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 uses the medium I do out of the clay and the, or the paper mache I turn into a clay um, cardboard for all my homes which so all my homes are maybe this size but they'd be not even eighth of the weight yes and which is which is absolutely amazing and you create a lot and you sell them at the Denver Museum of Miniature Show and put them on your blog and you do a lot of um, commissions I'm still hoping you're gonna do this shop one day oh, I would love to do the shop one day this would be a uh, Yes, it would a be fun, fun one project. to do. Yes, we even got the wallpaper for you. So this is the house. So I'm going to show you guys all it right here. So it's quite big, quite heavy, and let me just show you the back. So Stan has a lot of ideas of what we can do here. Stan, what are some of your ideas? Uh, well, um, the house that you uh, brought it was filled with furniture. So in and, and, and plus you love Christmas a lot. I think it'll be a, a little Christmas um, setting. Um, that we'll do with it um, by the time we're done decorating it. 
So this house came with inside of it, and you can see some of the original price tags, but we got we got great deals on all of these oh, things. Nice. Uh, th there's a lot of Christmas like, things. Look like at this the, bed. The handmade bed and the, the, it's all hand painted with a handmade painted room divider. Um, this room divider probably took, took somebody weeks to make, um, which would be longer than what it would take me to build one of my houses. Just the room divider. Just the room this, divider. I'm gonna show you guys the signature because her name is Natasha and she does these incredible pieces that are all hand painted just absolutely amazing let me show you this other room divider right here it's just wow and at the miniature show they have all kinds of artists that still do oh, yes. that that do this kind of thing it's just wonderful you have a way of uh, creating things you print stuff on the internet and make it yes. miniature and, yes. and create all the artwork for the walls for nothing virtually yeah, so i with can just ink. teach pretty much anybody how to do it for nothing so. oh yeah stan you you're you're so good at what you do oh, thank so you. i wanted to show you guys some of these things so as and stan's going through a lot of our just back inventory right here and let's take a look at this so we bought this wonderful piece from you this is one of your creations oh, yeah. so, um, I, I, Furnished it with Christmas tree and all the Christmas decorations. We bought this from Stan two years ago at the miniature show, and you have all kinds of things in here. Some of them are from other and artists. This one is from Bridget McCarthy, which is spectacular. Her work, her Christmas trees that she makes, um, uh, just wonderful. And same as her her mice that she um, she hand makes. Look at that! I didn't know this was Bridget McCarthy. How yes. cool is that? Oh, I'm so excited about that. Oh, I love it. So Stan, are we gonna are we gonna be stealing some of the stuff yes, from your project for our dollhouse? Um, um, and put it into your um, French country house into a French country Christmas for your house. Oh, I cannot wait. I love it. Well then we're just gonna have to have you fill it up with other things. There's so many themes. What's your favorite theme to do? Actually Christmas. Christmas. Because <laughs> you know, I go above and beyond with my home. My mm -hmm. home um, used to have like eight or nine Christmas trees throughout the home. Um, so um, I spend a couple of weeks decorating for Christmas every year. So. Oh, I know. <laughs> You're the absolute best. If I could hire you full time to decorate here, we would. Uh, you just do so many things. So I am so excited, you guys. This is the before. So you can see our big pile of stuff and what we're doing. We might be dividing this up. He might use the room dividers. I'm not sure what he's going to do, but we're going to start decorating this chateau and have a just a little before and after. So we're going to be back, but we hope you guys enjoyed this little peek. Okay, now you guys are gonna get to see some of the rugged back area. I am here back with Stan and he is going through some of our things that we have. Wow, you're just tearing through it. Good job, Stan. Get in there and get in there and check it out. So when we cleared out the front, we cleared out our miniature case and we it's all in storage and and, and and it'll it'll all be back someday i'm gonna beg stan to come and help set up our miniature case someday but he's going through it to see what he can find to put in our dollhouse oh, i cannot and wait so much in here this beautiful beautiful stuff everything in the pile good is this maybe, a stash oh good a possibility <laughs> fantastic
Hello everybody, okay, we're back. Hey Stan. Hi. All right, so I'm gonna grab the camera and we're gonna get in here and see what you have done. Stan has been working for the last three hours putting our house together. Was it fun? <laughs> it was fun. It's oh, good. God. Very addictive. It is very addictive. You were a maniac. So, you were like a Tasmanian yeah, devil. So I was trying to, um, um, the collage of stuff that you had, try to make it all work together, so. And you went you went back in our catacombs and I, found I some things. I eclectic. <laughs> I love it. So what was your feel? What what story uh, are we telling? More of a fr uh, eclectic French country Christmas scene um, with all the little Christmas stuff you have. We need to actually build you a couple of Christmas trees that, and, and put it in the house. But I'm just trying to go for an old world look um, um, like where you've had a hundred years of collective collecting different varieties of furniture and, and I'm amazed by some of the stuff you have from the handmade dolls that I mean are, are magnificent work. I'm so glad you were able to go back in our in the back and find some things to help fill this out. I love that you used all three levels. We're definitely gonna have to get that that top hinged. Oh my goodness Stan, so what's going on in here? <laughs> I think this is my favorite little the, um, Christmas display area right here. Again, Bridget McCarthy, one of her Christmas trees right here. Um, and somebody, um, I think this is probably one of my favorite chairs that um, I got from an estate sale that you had already got from one of my Christmas scenes um, the other year. Um, but a lot of handmade, the handmade cakes um, that another friend does. Um, just some magnificent work from uh, miniature artists around the world. You are an you are an amazing artisan, but you also love to work with other artists and yes, I because um, their their work can be pricey, so I like to trade my houses for their miniatures, so I can put more of the miniatures into houses like this. You're probably one of the only people that you know that can actually make a house in a matter of hours. Actually, yes. <laughs> so I'm like um, I just started one this weekend. I think within four hours, I had the house framed and built, drawn from scratch on poster board um, walls, put together. Um, the second day. She, um, the siding's up with paper mache and the bricks are carved and done. Oh, it is so incredible. I'm just stepping over here so I can get, if you guys want to see Stan's work right here, it's Greg's Miniature Imaginations and you can go to Greg's Miniature Imaginations.blogspot.com to see his incredible work and to contact him. He is just absolutely marvelous. I have begged him to now come help decorate the, the doll shop because it's kind of the same thing, but bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get in here so you guys can see. So what did we do down here? Uh, again, the, looks like the, the the Victorian doll that you have. Looks like she's preparing Christmas dinner for people to come over and setting up. And, um, some, some lovely pieces you had. I love the little doll houses. And the handmade stockings that came with the house that um, I just, I'm just decided to leave on there. Uh, so you know what, we, we didn't show them that this. We still need artwork for upstairs and on your walls, but for now it's a beginning, so. So begin, I would say this is an incredible beginning. I could have never put this together the way that you arranged it and you just and to did have it. a big room to try to divide the rooms and sort of make them separate instead of having to put walls in and, and things. Now, should we divide the rooms or just leave That's it like That's up to this? your personal taste. I sort of like the openness of it because then you're, you're free to do what you want. You could always build walls in here, but then it limits your space to, to how you, you put the furniture and, and items go in. So if somebody was going to start and they didn't have a ton of money, how do, how do, how do you get started doing oh, things? Oh my goodness. Um, actually, I'm more than happy if you go to my website. I, a lot of people ask me how I build and I do. A, I, I need to save a, a, a document on how I build because um, I've actually emailed people and given them step-by-step -step guidance on how I do it from poster board. Um, oh, you are amazing. Dollar store um, um, popsicle sticks for flooring and trim and um, hand-built windows, um, artwork for the walls. You can copy and paste um, um, pictures from the internet and then print off and, and, and make cheap artwork for your home or inexpensive artwork. Yeah, well, and it never looks like that. You guys, you, you're absolutely amazing. We are going to be, we worked with you for the January 2020 20 virtual doll convention and you you did give us a tutorial on how oh, to yes. start so we're gonna put we're gonna get that on YouTube so that everyone can see that and of course please go to Greg's website you can see a lot of his wonderful work on Pinterest and he is just amazing <laughs> oh okay give us an emoji let us know what you think of 
stands work here. So what are, what am I on the hunt for for, for my house? Uh, whatever makes uh, catches your eye. I know you love Christmas, and that was one of your mom's favorite things. So yes. honor her, and then Christmas trees, anything Christmas, put it on the walls. Um, artwork, um, incorporate that into it. Any, anything you love, and especially for you, since you are a doll shop, maybe finding more miniature dolls to go throughout the home. Yes. Um, you know that would be also a thing people would love to collect. We are going to do that for sure. I cannot wait to uh, just keep building and expanding on the house now that I have have some idea of what it should look like. It looks so good. Thank you so oh, much, welcome. Stan. Thank you. Very honored. Oh, it was a blast. We'll see you very soon. Have a great day, Okay, bye.